Good morning, friends. One of the things I have sitting on my desk is this big magnet. And I'll admit, I like to play with it. It's fun to see what will stick to it. I also have sitting on my desk right now some nails. Just long, new, straight nails, about an inch and a half long each. Let's see. Sure enough, they all stick to it. But then you get to wondering, do you have to be a long, straight, new nail to stick? Well, I also have some short nails sitting here. Let's see what happens with those. Oh, that was quick. So short nails and long nails both stick. But what about other things? Those nails are silver, like this paper clip. The paper clip stick? Yep. But what if it's a different color of paper clip? Do you have to be silver to stick to the magnet? Nope. How about this sort of bronze colored bobby pin? Oh, it sticks too. Well, maybe those are all kind of little things. What about big things? I have a little bottle opener here. Oh, it, it sticks really tight. And a pair of tweezers. They stick too. All kinds of things seem to be drawn to this big magnet. There are things that are teeny also. I have just a couple staples and a push pin there. And sure enough, they stick also. I have things that are round and things that are square and things that have spirals on them. Look at that. They all stick as well. I even have little hooks and something that's not all metal. It has some plastic on it too. And look at that. It also is attracted to the magnet. That's part of the fun of playing with magnets is that so much can be attracted to them. Well, sometimes we think that you have to be a certain kind of person for God to love you. We imagine that God's love only attracts people who are always good or are really smart or are kind every time or tell the truth all the time. People who never do anything wrong and can do everything well. But in fact, God's love attracts all kinds of people. It doesn't matter if you are perfect, which nobody is, or you make mistakes. Sometimes you even do things wrong by choice. God's love can still attract you. You can still be drawn to God's care, God's kindness, God's forgiveness. No matter what shape you are, no matter how you've behaved, God still wants to draw you in. It's just like a magnet that calls to so many different sizes and shapes of people and things. Let us pray. Oh God, we give you thanks that we don't all have to be the same. We don't all have to be perfect for you to love us, for you to draw us in and keep us close to you. Help us to be drawn to you as to a magnet and help us to be magnets to draw others in by the power of your love. We pray this in your holy name. Amen.